this is gold here. Um, I got a different type of video for you that I normally do. We're going to be talking about ohms, watts, and volts. There's a calculator you can get. I'll show you how to get it. Uh, but I found out that the heat that I like off my atomizer, and it gives me the best flavor, is at a certain watt, which was 7.058. That's all I got to do is put that number in every time when I get a new ohm resistance atomizer and it tell me what to set my votes on my TV. So if you got a variable vote, and sometimes you might set the, the voltage too high and you burn your atomizers up. That won't happen anymore if you just go by this little thing I'm going to show you. It's out there, but I don't think anybody's ever actually explained it. I thought I would. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, we're gonna go to the video now to explain it that I made earlier, and uh, I'll catch you on the other side. Okay, here's the calculator. This is what it looks like. So what we're concerned about here is the wattage to give you that consistent hit that you're looking for. Because you know how sometimes you'll get a uh, different cart, let's say a 1.5 or a 1.9 pack of cartos, and they hit real good. But then when you try to go up to a, a higher ohm resistant one, you can't seem to get that same hit or the same feel. Well, this should help you do that. So basically all you do is to start out with, say right now you're vaping on a 3.0 atomizer, cartomizer or what you're using and you get your variable vote set at that's what this is for variable units PV box mods there what you got if you can adjust the voltage say you have that set at 4.5 right now all right calculate that now it tells you that you're at 6.75 watts all right now you say well I'm gonna try a long uh, a low resistance LR atomizer on there. So all you gotta do is clear this off. Put your 6.75 in. And say you want to do a 1.5. Does it calculate? Now, this tells you that you have to adjust your voltage to a 3.18. Most cases, that's only two numbers, 3.1. So the second number on the side of the dot there is, it's higher than 5. It's an 8. So usually what I do, if it's higher than a 5, I go up to the next number. So I would set this at 3.2 volts at 1.5 resistant atomizer. And that will give you 6.75 watts. Okay, let's do another example. 6.75 watts I've determined that that's where I like the heat of the resist the heat of the atomizer I like the way it uh, my juice taste I like the heat from the atomizer it's not overbearing it, it's it's perfect that's what I want so say you get some uh, 4.5 carts all you gotta do is hit calculate then you set your or vote up to 5.51, which would be 5.5, .5, and it will give you that 6.75 watts. So no matter what the uh, resistance is or the voltage, every time you change a cartomizer out to a different resistance, in order to get that perfect voltage, to keep that watt at the same level. All you got to do is use this calculator. Let me clear it off. Put in your 6.75. Let's say you got some 3.2 card oaks or card modules. Calculate. Now if you set your PV at 4.6 volts, 
you're going to still get your wattage and you should get the same pretty much flavor that you were getting before because you're getting the same wattage. That way you keep them a consistent flow of watts at 6.75. In order to do that on a 3 ohm resistance atomizer you got to set your PV at 4.6 volts. So no matter what these are, as long as you put this number in first, you put your resistance in and it will tell you what to set your PV at. Hopefully this will help you, you know, out. Uh, it helped me out quite a bit. For example, I like 7.058. Okay, right now I have a 1.9 resistant atomizer on and you see it says 3.66 so I got my PV set at 3.7 because that, sec that second number past the decimal point is a 6 so it's higher than 5 so I got it set 3.7 I'm getting the same consistent hit that way as I was at a higher voltage and a higher resistance because I put my wattage in first and they gave me what I was looking for. So no matter what my resistance of my atomizer is or my voltage, the main thing is just wattage. Because once you set that wattage in and set your, your resistance in, it will tell you exactly what to set up on to get that, what you're vaping at now. And if you like that, then this will make you stay there. Okay, I hope that was pretty clear and you can figure it out how you can get more of a consistent bait because you're at a certain number there constant that watts never changes on you it's constant so therefore your vaping experience should be a lot better and a lot smoother and you shouldn't be burning no more atomizers if you go by that or you shouldn't be having too low of a heat it's not getting the flavor that you like but I'm going to put a link in the description down here. That's where it's still at, I think. But that way, you can go to that site, put in your numbers, and see what it, see if it works for you. It works for me. I know this lately. I've been doing a lot on my barrel boat mods because I'm getting that more consistent hit that I like. I like that heat that produces at that watt. So, I guess that's all I got for you for right now. I hope this really helped you out. It helped me out quite a bit. I just want to explain it to you so you could understand it, hopefully. I hope I did a good job doing it. Um, if you have any questions, just put a comment below and I'll try to get back to you on it. Until next time, just keep on vaping.